Good morning, my loves. How are you guys doing today? I was looking at my face and I'm like, Dude, my face is so clear. <laughs> my face is super clear right now and I'm so happy about it. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, I just want to talk to you guys about what the Lord has been talking to me about. The Lord has been so good. Let me tell you guys something. Listen, be, be very one with God all the time. But I'm telling you guys right now, take time away to spend time with Jesus. Okay, like don't even... I'm telling you, it's it's worth it. Take time away, two days, three days, 10 days. You should always spend time with God, but like have a day where you don't answer text messages, you don't answer emails, you just pull away completely. Even if you're not going into a fast, just pull away completely and just give all your time and dedication to God. I promise you like, <sighs> Holy Spirit will come through, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something. It was placed on my um, heart this morning through the Lord. He wants you guys to know that, um, of course, you guys already know this, but a lot of the people that have been coming after you, a lot of the people that, um, you know, are being used by the devil, a lot, and it's, it's everybody. It's people in your family. It's, it's past friends. It's people you don't even know. Like, you may be just walking down the street on your way to the mall, and then some stranger just bumps into you and starts cussing at you for no reason. Like, the devil uses people. It could be people in ministry that will sit there, and the devil will use them against you, and they don't even know the devil's using them against you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So... What God was saying was that revenge energy, okay? Revenge is what they are planning. We already knew this, but it's it's very up and down for some people. It's up and down. For some of you guys, it's at a level now where some of them, they're, they just hate you. And I, I don't like to say that, but it's the truth. They just hate you. You have to remember they hated Christ, okay? They hated Christ. God says, blessed are those who are persecuted for my name's sake. So if you're walking with God, you're going to be persecuted. Even from those who claim to love God are going to persecute you too, period, okay? Um, and it's because of uh, you have a different type of anointing. It's not like any other anointing. It's a different type of anointing. And some people, they may feel like your anointing is higher than their anointing. You may have access to certain things that they don't have or God may be blessing you more than them and that will just bring up hatred within them but god already knows their hearts god already knows the enemy's plans before the enemy plans anything so god already knows your enemy's plans before they even plan anything do you see where i'm coming from so god was saying that they are they are plotting again okay and um you don't have to worry though you don't have to worry <laughs> you don't have to worry so there's some people that are getting listen people are gonna get you some of you guys like okay but step i didn't even do nothing for there to be any revenge towards me listen child okay even my god mom told me the same thing she's like she's like my god mom she's a prophetess she's like you don't have to do nothing for someone to be revengeful against you period like people will re will try to get revenge on you just for god blessing you just for you live let's just, like it, it's, it's even like family it's like let's just say that your dad did not up, did not raise you right or your mom did not raise you right and because you're able to go to school you're able to finish you're able to be successful at something that they never thought that they can do it they may feel like it's your fault why they couldn't achieve certain things because they had to make certain sacrifices you know in life so they couldn't really fulfill their dreams to their full highest potential and they may blame you for that they may try to use you as a scapegoat for that it could even be the same thing with, with cousins it could be the same thing with friends you know oh it's because of you why um, I, we hung, we hung around in high school together and you got all the boys in high school. No one liked me. Every boy that I liked, liked you. Like, it may be things like that. Things you have no control over. Things that you did not, <laughs> you didn't purposely do. People will just try to get revenge on you because God is blessing you. And they may feel like you stole something from them. It could be an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife who just may see, may be single right now, may be lonely right now because of their own actions. You know, they may have caused a relationship to fall apart but they're gonna come after you the new person of the husband or the new person of the wife because they may feel like it's your fault as to why they couldn't work it out with their partner because their partner wants to be with you or their ex ex wants to be with you like it's just people will get revenge on you for excuse my language but the silliest things i was gonna say the stupidest things well i wasn't gonna say it but now i said it okay <laughs> for the silliest things right 
And you have no control over that. You don't have any control over that. You don't have control over people's evil ways. People are just evil. Like, we're not going to understand the mindset of evil people. We're not going to understand the hearts of evil people if we have good hearts. Period. It's just that simple. So what God was basically saying is, yes, there's going to be some that are still plotting revenge. They still hate you. Right? And it's not your fault. God is saying it's not your fault. But, however, God gave me this morning... Where's my phone? It was Jeremiah 11, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I think that said Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Let me find my phone. Sorry, y'all. Hot mess right now. There it is. Find my phone. Jeremiah, I'm just, I'm just loving my face, y'all. My face is so smooth right now. I have no makeup on. Okay, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Okay, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper. You, you, sorry, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Remember, God has a purpose for you. This is why there's so many people that are out to get you because God has a very strong plan for your life, okay? Listen, let me ask you guys a question, okay? How is someone gonna get revenge on you for what God chooses to give you? <laughs> like, how are you gonna get revenge on me for what God chooses to give me? Like, this is God's plan. It's not my plans. Like, you know, y'all should be thinking that way. Like, it's God's plan. Remember, when they get revenge on you, they're actually getting revenge on God. And they may not see that. They may not understand that. They may think of it as a personal thing that they just want to attack you and stuff. Not realizing they're actually coming up against God because the plans that God has for you, it's not your fault. The plans that God has for you, it's not your choice. It's not your decision. God chose you to give you this blessing, okay? God chose you to bless you. God chose you for this mission. God chose you for that business. God chose you for that ministry. God chose you for that husband. God chose you for that wife. God chose you to get married. God chose you to have that house. God chose you to have that car. God chose you to have good health, okay? God chose you to have wisdom. God chose you to have knowledge. God chose you to have a good heart. Listen, God cho chose you to change the world, okay? However way he's, wherever he puts you, there's going to be a change in the world that you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be a part of. Okay, and it's going to be big. Everyone's going to know who you are. Everyone's going to know your name. There's a reason why they're trying to tarnish your name all the time because they don't want your name to have any positive light attached to it. That's the thing. Okay, they want people to see you in a negative way. Right? So they're trying every little thing. When the spell word don't hit, they try everything else. Okay, God says, if I have plans for you and I have plans to prosper you, who can come against you? Because they're not coming against you. They're coming against me period okay so god is saying my plan is to prosper you and not to harm you so yes you may feel the attempts of the magic yes you may feel tired yes you may be t you may be drained you may de be depressed all of that stuff may be piled up in one so you're like girl i can't take it no more god i can't take it no more but god is saying that his plan is not to harm you look at job he told the devil don't touch job don't you dare touch job job was sick and went through all that but job didn't die did he you guys are still walking right now. You guys are still breathing right now, right? God has a plan for you. And that's why they don't like you. That's why they hate you. No matter how much times they attempted to kill you, to rob you, to steal from you, to harm you, to push you down, to put you down emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, you keep getting back up stronger okay and that's proof the lord is walking with you the lord is covering you in the mighty name of jesus the lord is covering you Woo! holy spirit <laughs> come through ah sorry Woo! i'm in the car right now i'll be in my house rolling on the floor right now okay <laughs> i'm sorry okay so Another thing God was telling me you guys to be mindful for is remember when the Pharisees were against Jesus at first and then, you know, what happened was there was one of the Pharisees that said, hmm, I'm, I'm, I kind of like this, this Jesus guy and said, I'm going to invite you over for dinner. But when they invited Jesus over for dinner, they were still trying to throw a low key shade at Jesus when he came over for dinner because the, the weeping woman was crying on his feet and she used her hair to kind of wipe his feet and wipe, you know, wipe the tears off his feet. Yet the Pharisees, the Pharisees never even greeted him when he came to the house. That means the Pharisees still had some type of hidden hate. The love that they were showing to him, oh, come over for dinner, it was fake love. So there's some of them that they, they're saying to themselves, if they can't beat you, they're going to try to join you. That's what the Lord says. Really be clear of who's around you. Be clear of who's in your house. Be, care, be clear of who's around your kids. Okay? Like, don't tell people your plans. God says it's be very, very clear. Be very cautious of what's going on, who's around you. Because some of them, they're going to try to join you. They're going to try to come back and be nice. I love you. I miss you. Oh, I'm proud of you. I'm this. I'm that. Why? because every spell work they did didn't work 
Every plan they had didn't work. So now they feel like they have to join you, okay? But God says he has plans for you, for you to prosper and not to harm you. And you have to keep that, keep that in the back of your mind, okay? God loves you. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.